the borders. Every strategic pressure point in this peninsula now lies in the grip of the armed forces. The airspace remains closed. It barely matters who these soldiers belong to. Their allegiance lies with Russia. And their orders come from the new Crimean Prime Minister, installed yesterday in a parliament occupied by a paramilitary unit. With full understanding of my responsibility for the lives and security of our citizens, I call on the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, to provide assistance in securing peace on the territory of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea. The interim government in Kiev is powerless to stop him, and Washington shares the frustration. We are now deeply concerned by reports of military movements taken by the Russian Federation inside of Ukraine. The United States will stand with the international community in affirming that there will be costs for any military intervention in Ukraine. These are seismic events unfolding on the Crimean Peninsula. Not that you get any sense of that crisis here in Sevastopol. The ethnic Russian majority had felt great uncertainty within the new Ukraine. Today, they're relaxed and wholly at ease with what they're hearing from the new administration. Moscow will use the prevailing mood to its advantage. It's been a speedy, effective takeover, endorsed by the majority, and it's seemingly irreversible without a dangerous 